Hello everyone, this is CypherDeck, and today we're going to be playing Space Engineers, and we are going to blow stuff up, hopefully. Hopefully we'll be able to get uh, hit on target. Uh, if not, we should still be destroying uh, stuff. So, just to give an example, uh, here I am, nice and me. Um, this is a large ship uh, design, so... If you just go like that, there I am, and then you look at how big this thing is. Um, uh, it's 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 big. It's 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 a big little ship. So first we have uh, the warhead. This whole section, um, I like this scaled look that I was able to put on it. It almost looks like dragon scales. Um, definitely gonna use that in other ways in the future. And I really like one of our tapers down to the single. It just, uh, just so good, so good. Works, works the way I wanted it to. So, all of this is the warhead. It is, or uh, the, yeah, the warhead of of this missile, I guess you would call it. Uh, but the whole thing is not full of warheads. It has a lot of them, but it's not completely full. And I'll talk about that in just a second. You'll see in here we have thrusters that are turned off. We have our merge block. And um, those thrusters are so that we can hopefully retrieve this ship um, once we've detached. They will turn on once this detaches. And the autopilot will be turned off, which will allow it to get, uh, engage the um, dampeners. And hopefully it will stop it. I, to be honest, I don't know. This thing is massive. Right here, all of this is heavy armor. All of this is light armor. I am doubting something this big will be able to stop within the, uh, the atmosphere of the planet. But you can hope. <laughs> we have back thrusters, which are also turned off. They are part of the autopilot. So once the autopilot has found the location that I d um, gave it, it will turn on and move forward we have everything we have everything is attached anything that needs to be attached is attached the only thing we really have that has any kind of attachment or need to be filled are the reactors so we do have connectors everything is tied up and everything along those lines thrusters all nice and those, uh, nice stuff so let's go around here i gotta find it did i lose it Am I looking in the wrong place? <laughs> there it is. Okay, let's go ahead and go over here. This is a cutaway showing you just everything that's going on inside of here. So again, thrusters. They have, they're all in their own section. And then you have a wall that we have our reactors. I believe we have a total of six reactors. Again, all connected and all piped out. We have a lot of um, a lot of gyroscopes to allow it to um, move itself, remote control block, and we also have four timer blocks and our antenna, merge block again, and then merge block to here. So, okay, uh, now I know the way I think and the way this game actually acts is not going to be the same, but here's my thinking on this. And it, it, it might be wrong. It probably is. It, but anyway, um, my thinking is, is we have our uh, warhead right there that will make this whole section go off. Hopefully it will breach this section. But by the time it breaches it, the warhead will be down further. Then this will explode, um, creating more damage to the same area. Again, more buffer here, it pushes down more, and then all of these go off. But I wanted to make sure that it had a good amount of solid surface. That way it could um, also have that thud kind of... Ugh. It is all light blocks, so they should all be able to be destroyed by the warheads that are contained within the, the warhead of, of the ship. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. It is going to take a while for this thing to get down to the planet. I have it set up for, I believe, 
6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 minutes uh, for uh, this thing to travel before it will actually detach the warhead. So let's go ahead and go in here, get the RC, turn autopilot on, and here we go. <laughs> Once it finds its destination, it should turn on the thrusters and go and you'll see that it, uh, i'll go ahead and go to the top here it's easier to see up here and there you go thrusters are on it's counting down and it will go from one timer block to another and we'll just uh we'll just follow this down <laughs> um i think what i'll do is do a speed up It'll speed up a little bit, and then that way we can watch it. And once it gets a little bit closer to ground, we will uh, we'll go ahead and talk again. So, uh, yeah. Okay, so we are back, and um, I was just checking the timers. So this thing is coming into sight really fast. Um, I need to think, I really need to get this thing to detach much, much sooner than I uh, let it. Um, um, oh, come on, uh, come on, come on! Oh my goodness, you can feel the gravity. You can feel the gravity. <laughs> come on come on i just want to get up there we go um 35 okay detach i want it to detach almost instantly five seconds <laughs> because this thing is oh my goodness i think we're gonna hit the ground before that actually happens oh yeah we're gonna hit the ground before that actually happens but we're gonna stay with it and um Wow, it gets really loud when you get away from it. But we're going to watch this thing. Oh, we have no time. No time. The thing is not going to touch. <laughs> well, well, um, is it going to hit square? Is it, it looks really, oh, it's attached. <laughs> but it's not going to do anything. I mean, that thing is... All right, so we've learned some things here. Um, wow. Um, first thing is we hit it. We hit exactly where I told it to. Um, let me go ahead and... Uh, that's not what I wanted. 
Do control X. Yes. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and look in here. Make sure all the warheads, all the warheads went off. That's a pretty, pretty, um, uh, interesting crater. You can also see that, um, some of the warheads are dead. I don't know. I don't understand how that works, but, um, if we take a look here, we hit dead on their medical bay, <laughs> which let's go ahead and turn this on. You'll see that 70 point seven um, um, meters or whatever it is that's where the X marks the spot and it hit exactly where I told it to so that is proof of concept of at least the main section now I just need to get it to work correct so um, I will be back once we are close to landing again or at least close to separation and um, uh, yeah be right back Okay, so we are back, and I've made a lot of changes. Not a lot, and just a few changes. So, as you'll see, I fused, <laughs> I fused this together. So it's one rocket, and that's how it's going to work. The thing is, is that if I was to release this at any point prior than, say, 5,000 kilometers or five kilometers from um, impact, it is going to go off um, off alignment. So I went ahead and just kept it all as one uh, piece. And um, yeah, I think I'm gonna call this thing the Dragon's Claw, uh, just because of the, the actual point on the front of it, just has that dragony scale. And I think I've probably said that 20 times by now i really like just the, that look uh so we should be coming in any time now and this thing i can never tell if it's on on alignment it could be a hair off and it will end up over here uh or it could be just on it's that um that hard to tell from uh from this perspective so hopefully Hopefully we'll uh, hit soon. I'm going to go ahead and start heading down there. And um, hopefully we'll meet it. Meet it where it lands. It's um, it's definitely... I've had um, two recordings that ended up failing before I ended up coming up with this design. Because I had it set up that it detached at four minutes. Uh, six minutes. Eight minutes. And every time it would go so far off of target now this may not work either having it attached but everything is symmetrical hopefully because of that it will not um it will not waver and hopefully it will hit perfectly and that's what we want and by having this mass of um heavy armor behind this Maybe that will drive it in uh, further and get all of the uh, get all of those warheads inside to to detonate. Again, it kind of looks like we're off. I mean, that is over there. I'm looking straight down at this over here. We may have to have it just separate two or <laughs> three seconds before it's about to hit. I don't, I don't know. Um, it may have to have that merge block accessible. Because I'm, I'm not seeing that it's going to be landing there. Either way, we are about to find out in... Um, in four kilometers. So, I mean, it looks, looks perfect from here. It looks perfect from here. And it looks like it's making slight adjustments, though really at this point, there are no adjustments that can make this mass move right on top of that. It had to make, uh, have had to have been making those course corrections far before this point. So, uh, <laughs> I'm looking straight at it. It looks so far off target. Gonna go ahead and turn the dampeners on. 
And let's see where it lands. It is off. So close, though. So close. So, does the merch block need to be on? I don't know. And to be honest, unless I keep testing this, I probably won't ever know. But it um it makes holes. It damages things, and that's pretty much all I want from it. At least this one. This one is um has one purpose: to destroy anything that it touches. And I think I think I've I've done that. I hope you guys like it. Let me know in the comments below, and I will talk to you later. This is Cypher Deck. Peace out.